Costa. Hello, my name is Costa and I'm going to be showing you today how to make a passport photo. You can take it yourself or of course you can go to the photo booth uh, where you can pay some money um, but those ones don't really come out very well or you can get a professional to come and take the passport photo for you but I'm going to show you today how to do it yourself with your own camera in the house. Now we need two passport photos in this house, one for my wife and um, one for my one-year-old son who's never had a passport photo and we need them because we're going to San Diego in August and I'm really looking forward to that I can't wait because the doctor this morning told me that I don't have enough vitamin D and as you know vitamin D means you don't have enough sunshine so I'm hoping that if any of you are in San Diego that you'll tell me what the uh, sun is like in August okay so I'm hoping it's really hot but now I'm going to show you how to take a great passport photo in your own house with your own camera. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, what you're going to need is a white wall. Okay, because passport photos always require you to be in front of a white wall. They don't want anything orange or red or anything like that. They just want a white wall. It's going to be very simple. It's just a head and shoulders type of shot, okay? So um, I'm going to get my uh, son to stand in front of here or sit in front of here and my wife to sit in front of here and I'm going to just take a picture with this white wall in the background, okay? Let's do this! No! <laughs> Where did you get that from? Jaden! No! That's it, that's it, smile, smile! Oh, you missed it, cuz! Jaden, 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 Dylan, come over here. He can look at you as well. JJ, Jaden. I think that's more than enough. Yeah, that, see, those are perfect. That's a really good one. <laughs> right, so what I've got is I'm, I'm using um, an SLR, but you can use any camera really, uh, any a compact camera. You could even use your um, phone because phones now have um, very good quality, uh, picture quality. So now, as you can see, my wife is sitting right in front of the white wall. I've taken a couple of pictures of her. Now, you've got to remember that uh, on your passport pictures, there's certain things that you've got to uh, do or not do. Uh, for example, if you had a baby, you wouldn't have a dummy in her mouth. Uh, you don't want anything covering the face. Uh, you always want to be looking directly at the camera. Okay, like these ones. No glasses. Okay, no hair covering the face. Uh, baby shouldn't be sitting on somebody's lap. So um, have a look at what you're supposed to do uh, and then basically take your picture. But it should be very simple, almost bland. You're just looking directly in front of you, uh, looking at the camera. And in fact, uh, no smiling it says as well so they just want to see your face and nothing else okay what we've got here there's the baby although that one you wouldn't use because he's smiling that one is smiling and looking away that's a video that one has got his hand in front of the face you wouldn't use that that one again you wouldn't use that because um, well his his mouth is kind of um, uh, that one is probably the best one. He's looking directly at the camera. And, uh, you know, it's, it's perfect really for a passport picture. So I think I'm happy with those. Although I'll take one or two more of my wife just to make sure that we've got everything we need. Now, if you are using an SLR, um, this is a Canon 70D. I'm using the pop-up flash, but I've taken the... Um, flash compensation down to uh, minus two. All I want is to highlight, uh, bring some um, light into the eyes. Uh, if, you, if it's too powerful, then you'll get a shadow in the background, which is what I don't want. Okay, look at me. And when you focus, make sure you focus on the eyes. One more. And there's not a lot of work now that we need to do with those. We could use um, Photoshop 
to crop bits um, out or you could use any other uh, imaging software and that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so here we are um, in uh, Photoshop. I have um, uploaded all my files from my camera to the computer. Now I'm, look, I'm now looking for a, a decent picture of my son that I could use. Uh, he's looking to the side. These are all no good. This, this, this is probably the best one here. Um, so I'll just use that. And there he goes. Now this file is massive. Um, and we'll take a look at that. But I just wanted to show you the settings that I have um, in um, Photoshop. If we go to Preferences, File, Edit, Preferences, uh, Units and Rulers, um, this in here is normally set to um, inches for me, um, but I've set that to millimeters because we're going to need that to be in millimeters. Uh, I have then viewed the rulers. I'll take them off for a second. There you go. Add the rulers, as you can see them on the side there. Now what we want to do is we want to go back to um, our pictures and we just want to have a look at the dimensions that they've uh, given us for the passport. So we'll start off in here. And... We'll open this up. Just have a look at the dimensions. And this as well reminds us of what we should have and what we shouldn't have. Okay, so we can see um, what the passport picture looks like and what it shouldn't look like there. We've got the dimensions here, 35 millimeters wide and 45 millimeters from top to bottom. And there's a few other things that we need to um, take care of, like the um, top of the head to the chin has to be a certain um, size as well. Massive image. And I'll show you the size of the image again. There you go. We'll want to take that down to around about what it should be but first of all let me do some cropping here to what the passport picture should be like let's say something sort of like that maybe a little bit more like that okay crop it like that i go back to 100 percent And then what I want to do is try and get down to what the image should be. I've gone into millimeters, as you can see here, because it's going to be a picture. I'm going to set the resolution to 240. And then we said the height should be 45 millimeters by 35. I'm going to make it slightly bigger, uh, 55 height wise. There you go. And then if we have a look at the actual print size there we go that's close to what we want it to be now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another uh, image whoops sorry that was wrong what I want to do is create another image this time in inches sorry millimeters and I want it to be the perfect size 45 by 35 Resolution of 240. Now I want to take my image and I'm going to put it in that picture there. And there you go. Now, as we said on here, sorry, on here, the top has to have some kind of some space and the bottom has to have some space from the top of the head to the chin. It has to be no more than 34 millimeters. So if I go back in here, I'll bring out my ruler. I'll set that to five millimeters. I'll give a five millimeter space at the top. And then I'll take that down to 
40, just under 40. So that's about 35 millimeters there, or 34 millimeters. And I need to make sure that his head is in between those two lines. So I'm gonna do a free transform. Saving. Here we go. And I think that's probably just what they're looking for. So uh, I'm going to merge that down, flatten that again. The only problem is now that the um, the white of the paper of the background is a lot whiter than the background of my wall. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just uh, copy, close stamp the back here. We've just got the top of his head there, but we'll sort that out in just a moment. There we go. So we've just clone stamped that out. I'll flatten that again. I'll save it. Let's just make sure that we've got the correct size. That's 45 millimeters by 35 millimeters. I'm going to save that um, as Jaden Passport. Okay. And this other image that we just created here, we don't need. Close that. Now, this picture is going to be printed on um, six by four print size. So I'm gonna create a six by four print size, and that's in inches. So that's six by four. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that image and put it on there and then you can clearly see the size of the image on a normal print paper so we're going to control j that that's to copy it so we create another copy control j that as well control j that Control J, Control J, and we're done. Actually, we'll move that one across there, and then we'll move that one across there a little bit, and finally, the bottom right hand corner, we'll move that over there. And that's it. I'll now save this. Um, I'll save it as a PS Photoshop file. Jaden Passport. Save. And then I'll save it as a JPEG as well so that we can go to the um, printer and print it off. Call that Jaden Passport times six. And we are done. In fact, um, I made a, a copy earlier on of my wife's passport pictures, there they are. And Jada's passport pictures. And that's it, we're all done.
Serena's fine Today, baby. Oh, I'm going to throw this back in a minute. <laughs> you, you can edit it, Dad. Jeez. Yeah. Exactly. So it'll be like that, the finished product. 